Welcome back to Rick Thunder Snacks. I am Rick Thunder, and this is, of course, Derek with me. So today, as you can see from the title of the video, we are going to try Mexican Coke. So what do we know about Mexican Coke? It's supposedly made from cane sugar, which is like sweeter, right? It, it's going to taste different, yeah. right? But it's not supposedly made. It is. It is? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for those that didn't know, uh, Coke around the world will sometimes tweak their formula depending on which country they're selling it in. So, of course, in the United States, uh, Coke originally started selling their soda with real Coke. sugar back in the oh. late 1800s when they started. Yes. Uh, but decades ago, I don't know exactly which year, they did eventually switch to uh, corn syrup. So today, Coke in the United States yeah. is sold or is made with corn syrup as the primary sweetener. In Mexico, they still use cane sugar which is closer to the original uh, formula. Yeah. So it does taste a little bit different. Now, yes. I have had it before. Derek, I don't I, think you've never know, had I, it. I have not had Mexican So this will be the first time for him uh, and fourth, fifth time for me to have Mexican Coke. Of course, on the few trips that I have been to Mexico, of course, that's, that's all that's available is Mexican <laughs> Coke in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, so I've had it several times down there as well. Uh, so we got this at a local import shop. And so this is, you, typically you get it in a glass bottle. That is how they sell it in Mexico. And there's a kind of the import sticker with all of the nutritional information in English because it's originally in Spanish. So this is a glass bottle of Mexican Coke. Yeah. In Mexico, when you buy a Coke, you're going to get it in a glass bottle. And what's nice about it is that you return the glass bottle uh, to wherever you bought it from. And then I think you get something the equivalent of a dime or oh, 20 really? cents. Mm -hmm. And then they will recycle it. Basically, by recycling it, the, actually what they do is they just ship the yeah, empty bottle cool. back to Coke, back to the Coke company. They wash it out and then they refill yeah. it and then send it back to the store. Yeah. Well, actually, originally you were saying Coke used corn syrup originally, which they, or, or uh, they used sugar originally, mm -hmm. which they did. But you know what else they used? What? Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> they did we weren't gonna test they did they did use cocaine that is where the name coca-cola comes from part of the original formula they don't they haven't had that in the recipe for at least 100 years and i'm glad yes that's a good thing <laughs> yes. all right so the way we're going to do this is we actually are going to go ahead and taste american coke just to set our baseline for when we taste the mexican coke so we have just a, yes. a simple two liter bottle this is just regular american uh, Coke yeah. that you can buy anywhere in the United uh -huh. States. And so we're going to have this first. So we've got our glass. All we right. each have a glass with some ice ready. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some for you, Derek. All right. Thank you. Just give you a little bit because we're not going to drink a whole glass worth. Give you some. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour some here for myself. And we'll do this together. All, All right. right. Let me put the cap on so we don't lose the carbonation. Okay. okay, so this, again, this is just American American Coke. We both have had this many, many times. But we're just yes. trying to set a baseline for yes. tasting the Mexican yes. Coke. All right, so okay. here we go. We'll do a little... Here we go. Mm. That's good. I mean, <laughs> it's Coke. That is good. That's why it's the number one selling soda around the world. I don't know. Eight out of ten? <laughs> well, we're not really rating the American Coke, but sure, 8 out of 10. 8, 8, 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8. I actually haven't had regular Coke in a long time. I Typically, when I drink, I, I drink Diet Coke. Um, so it's a little bit it's sweeter good. to drink the regular American Coke. It's very good. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say anything. All right. So now that we've set our baseline, now we know what the regular Coke yes. tastes like. Now, what we need to do is cleanse the palate. Yep. Do you know what this is? Yeah. It's like <laughs> restarting your tongue kind of like resetting the taste that's not a bad that's like resetting the taste buds so you he's never had to do this before if you've ever been to a wine tasting then you have not been but if you're an adult <laughs> if you're an adult and you've been to a wine tasting you will often yeah. find little bowls of little crackers to help so you go oh. cleanse the palate so what we're doing we just have saltines. a salt just a regular simple saltine cracker um so what we do is is by cleansing the palate what we're doing is resetting the taste buds yep so the crack, you don't even have to eat the whole thing, but. Mm. Mm, that's also good. Yeah, saltines are not bad. Very simple. Seven out of ten. Are you serious? What? Okay. Well, we're not rating everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to rate the ice cube? <laughs> sure. 
It's very mediocre, yes. Yeah, so what the cracker is doing, we say uh, cleansing the palate. What the cracker is doing is it's kind of taking all the leftover residual Coke out of our mouth down the you know taking it down yeah. so we are yeah. clearing yeah. out any of the because we don't want to mix the american coke with the mexican coke yeah, then the taste should be off it's going to taste going to be off a little bit so we're trying to reset by getting rid of all of the american coke yeah right and, here is just, is just water yeah just a cup of water okay seven out of ten <laughs> <laughs> Is it filtered nicely? <laughs> yes. How's the filtering? So, all right. So now we're going to try the Mexican Coke and get a taste of what that is like compared to the American Coke. So here's got my right. bottle. I got my bottle opener. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah, normally when I have saltines, I have like a drink with it, like water or something. And as soon as I bit into it, I just was instinctively about to grab my Coke and just drink some. <laughs> yeah. So we've got new glasses. We have actually have a second set of glasses here. It's not. Oh, yes. We're not using the same glass. I'm going to go ahead and pour myself some of this Mexican Coke. Oh, man. And here's some for you. I wonder how it's going to taste because I've never had this before. Because, like, when we were just having the normal Coke, like, I know how it tastes. Right. I know what to expect. Well, before you get going, the general flavor is the same. I mean, in terms of the the type of flavor, it's still going to be the same. It's just that it's the only thing that they're changing is corn syrup to sugar. Yeah. The whole rest of the formula or the recipe is still the same yeah. so all right so now this is mexican coke let's do all a little right. and we'll see what this tastes like Ooh. oh that's nice that's very nice it's good yeah wow. you, it tastes to me it tastes uh, for lack of a better term it tastes brighter than american coke and that's because you're getting the real cane sugar it's a little i, I feel like it's a little bit more watered down just a little bit watered down. Maybe it was the ice was in there for a little while. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, we tried not to put the ice in here too soon before we hit the button. It's. I really like this, though. I, I really like it. Yeah. That's fresh. It's, it's like I said, for me, wow. it just tastes brighter yes. than the American Coke yeah. uh, because it's using cane sugar. So the whole thing, it's like not, not the flavor isn't really different in terms of that, that Coke, that cola flavor. It's still the same, but the, using the cane sugar just kind of lifts the whole thing yeah, up a little bit. If that's about know, the best way yeah, I can describe it's hard it, to describe. Yeah, but I, I think I like it more than normal Coke. A lot of people do. I mean, I know a lot of people that yeah, um, will good. get the Mexican Coke now. And like I said, in our case, we bought it at a local uh, Mexican grocery store here in town where we live in the Nashville area, a little tiendita called La Villa. But I also have seen this just at our local Walmart. We'll have the Mexican. Really? Oh yeah. Oh really? The, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. <laughs> it's in the same the same soda. It's Is in the it? regular soda aisle. Really? Yeah, so our our regular Walmart carries uh, the Mexican bottles of Coke. Not a lot of them, but it's but it's there, and it's definitely it's a little bit more expensive because obviously they have to import it up here from Mexico. Yeah. So you're going to pay a little bit more for it, but every now and then I think it's worth it. So now that we've had it, it's time to do a score. So I, one out yes. of ten, Dario. I typically let yeah. you go first. What is the score you got? I think I'm going to go an eight point five. Eight point five. That is solid. So yes. I will go with. I will say a nine. I like mm. Mexican Coke that much. Really? Wow. Okay. I, well, it's the Coke of okay. our people. Yeah. Plain, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> plain and simple. It, it's the Coke of our people. <laughs> So in case you didn't know, I look like I my mom is from Mexico, uh, so that makes me half Mexican, and it makes Derek a quarter Mexican. Yes. So we joke about that sometimes. So this is the Coke of our people. Oh my no, no, but only a quarter of my people. Only, <laughs> only a quarter. So anyway, uh, yeah, I will go with the nine. I, yes. I, I do like it. I, I haven't had it in quite actually. It's been a couple of years since I've had a Mexican Coke, but every now and then. Um, I will pick one up, and it it is really good. But yeah. that was your first yeah. time having it, um, and you gave it an eight and a uh, half. Eight, yeah, eight and a half. I give it a nine. Yeah, see, my favorite soda was Dr Pepper. It's and it still is. Mm-hmm. But I I do really like this though. Yeah, he loves Dr Pepper. Yeah, actually, all three of my kids. Derek, he has an older brother and an older sister, and anytime we're out to eat, they're all ordering yeah. Dr Pepper. Yeah, they're all three of them. Like yeah, it. so I don't like this as much as Dr. Pepper, but it's good. But it's really good, right. So, all right, so there's our score for Mexican Coke. 
If you're anywhere, uh, I mean, obviously there are Mexican grocery stores all over the United States or import shops, or maybe you're fortunate enough that your local Walmart uh, carries <laughs> yeah. it like ours does. So uh, Mexican Coke, it is the real deal. This is closer to the original formula that they used to have here in the United States. Mm -hmm. If you go back, I think, to the 60s, the 60s, 50s, and then yeah. before that, American Coke used to be made with cane sugar. Now you can only find it in Mexico. Uh, so there you go. Hey, anything, yeah. any last comments? Um, buy Mexican Coke. <laughs> there you go. You have Derek's endorsement. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll be back next time. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you next time.